Holy cow, guys, look at this white squirrel. There's a white squirrel. How freaking cool is that? Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Down South Off-Road and Outdoor. Today we are currently in the cradle of forestry in North Carolina, and you are looking at, what is that? Looking Glass Falls. Looking Glass Falls. Now for this episode, we're going to an undisclosed location, but we can't wait to show it to you. I messed that up, but I'm leaving it in because I'm not doing this over. <laughs> so we can't wait to show it to you guys. Let's stop at Oscar Blues and Brewski Stop. Is that right? Brewski. I mean, if you want to be lame, nobody calls it that anymore, baby. That was Can cool. you even hear us with these on? Can you hear us? Look. Well, well your mask is fake. <laughs> it's not. So it I works. See your teeth. It's, it's a fake mask. Mm -hmm. It works. I had a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> yeah. So he had a strap break. So. They were nice enough to give me a replacement. Yeah. So, if you want to get us to wear a mask, apparently this is what you have to do. So we're on our way to our trip, and there's a wreck, and traffic has been sitting here forever. So Kim is now peeing on the interstate in front of the Jeep. <laughs> that truck behind me wanted to walk. Here she goes again. <laughs> the guy in front rolled forward because he didn't know what she was doing. So, uh, <laughs> so he came back and offered a towel uh, to give her a towel so that she could use the bathroom. He said, I think I know what you were trying to do back there. And uh, here's a towel. And she was like, no, dude, I've got no problem peeing in the road. You rolled up and I got scared. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe a trucker was going to give you a towel to pee on. <laughs> so we've been stuck in this wreck for um, I don't even know how long. like an episode of MTV Cribs. You're going to be seeing it uh, the same time we're seeing it. So, oh God, it is so cold. So much colder than that. Dun, 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 dun. Well, how freaking cute is this? Yeah, shut that damn thing. <laughs> oh God. So what is that like a, it's a see-through garage door. Yeah, it looks up and then we go out on the porch. That's where our outdoor kitchen is. All right, so it has a. Oh, they've already started a fire for us. It How has awesome. a small wood-burning stove. 
This is crazy. Super cozy. So um, there's an outdoor bathroom. There's no water. There's no real electricity, but this battery uh, is supposed to charge our cell phones. And this is our only light? Our only light. This is awesome. We've got, um, that door doesn't sound scary as fuck at all. Mm -hmm. So we've got another cold, little Coleman lantern there, I guess to take out to the, uh, to the bathroom. I don't think it's powered. No, it's not uh, powered. I'm just thinking how cold it's gonna be when we open it. Oh, it's gonna be pretty cold. Definitely gonna let any of the heat that we have built up in here out. Go ahead, go out there, babe. No, I guess we will. Yeah. I mean. We rented a cabin on a cliff so that we could experience being on a cliff. Uh, Ten to one says I put on my fucking toboggan. Uh, so, wow. This is where we're staying for two days. This little place is just so damn cute, guys. Got a little uh, stove there. Propane grill. I you what? <laughs> you don't think you're going out there on that lovely view, babe? Uh, probably not. Guys, this right. view up here is crazy. I can't see it. Where is it? Where do you see the sun? I think you're seeing things. So we're up here above the cabin. How freaking cool is this? Uh, they have a splitter, and so they have boxes of wood just ready to go, and it heats with a little wood burning stove. Oh, we're getting some snow flurries, baby. So, what are we going to be using our ruck rack for today? All wood. So, she is sitting the ruck rack down, and it is going to be our wood hauler for this trip because it's cold and the cabin is pretty here. Why don't I carry and you record? All right. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, get you a woman that can carry a box of wood. Get you a woman that can carry a box of wood. Boom. Uh, ruck rack for the win. We just gonna do one or are we gonna do two? I think I think that'll probably be fine. Just one? Yeah. It really is crazy up here the sound of the wind uh, whistling over this little cabin is eerie and awesome at the same time we got some uh, well you can't really see it but some grilled buffalo chicken going on the uh, on the grill and uh, that's gonna be pretty yummy and let's go back in where it's uh, where it's warm. So look at this little spot. We got the candles lit. We got our little fire there. Um, we got chicken on the grill that we're watching from the warmth inside here. But listen to that wind. So we're basically gonna be hermits. Wow. They wanted us to know it's there. What time is it, babe? It's chick chicken time. Time to go check the chicken. Not choke the chicken. We're gonna check the chicken. All right, get that door open. It's gonna be frigid. All right, Conan. All right, Conan. Guys, it is so cold. Holy shit. How's our chicken breasts? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I think they're about done. I'm gonna give them just a couple more minutes. Just in case. Yeah, for sure. We don't want to get the salmonella. All right. All right. Back in. We jump back in like it's like it's we're gonna catch the Rona out there. Let's hear let's hear the wind talk to us. Yeah, we're probably not gonna fly the drone. <laughs> so again, I forgot what it was like to not have electricity. Um, 
So you remember we, back in like 1993 when the big blizzard came? Did yeah. You lose power? Yeah, we lost power. How many days? So we've got, our, limits, we've got our. We've got our. It wasn't power. city limits in '93. But still, you were close to zero. Nope. How long did you lose power? 78 days. <laughs> Whatever. 78 How days. Long did you lose power? I have no idea. I don't remember. You probably lost power for like 24 hours. Do you know how long we lost power? I don't know. You probably walked uphill both ways in snow, yeah, too. No, conversation. <laughs> so, no, do you know? What'd you say? How long? How long, man? We lost power for six days. Six days. Six days. Did you poop in buckets, man? No, we pooped in the toilet and we poured melted snow down the toilet to, to flush the toilet. Nice. And the only heat that we had was gas logs because there was no power. Guys, do you want to see how you live with no power? Do you want to see what your pantry looks like? <laughs> look at my look at my pop tarts. Look at my pop tarts and treat meat that never got made while we were on our Overlander trip. Well, it's still there. What the heck? Beanie weenies. And beanie weenies. And look, this is gonna be your most favorite thing of the whole trip. I got you ice cream. <laughs> Deep freeze ice cream. Yeah. All we gotta do is stick it outside, and you're gonna think it's the same thing. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure <laughs> that's just like regular ice cream. So yeah, man, this little place is so badass. So we're gonna be getting up in the middle of the night, throwing wood on the fire. Like it did back in the Oregon Trail days. And, uh, the Stipper Parvo. <laughs> no, <laughs> the Stipper Parvo. Damn it, earlier she said syphilis. Now she said the Stipper Parvo. It's dysentery. You have dysentery. Final chicken check. What do you think, babe? Yeah, it's ready. Is it really ready? Or yeah, ready? I feel like I should have took it off last night. Ooh, we get some snow. I see some snow in the camera. It would be pretty awesome if, uh... I lost a chicken race. <laughs> Did you lose one? I feel like it's flat. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's trying its final flight. Good morning, YouTube. Got, uh, Kim over here on eggs. Say hey, Kim. Um, here is our view this morning. Boom. Is that not super cool? Now, you'll probably notice that you still see my breath and that we're inside and we're wearing, I don't know, everything we own. That's because, guys, Raven's Rock is really fucking cold. So, at some point last night, our uh, we let our wood stove fire die. Um, so, don't do that set an alarm every three hours. We thought we were gonna be fine because we were so warm and snuggly in the bed. So tonight we will be setting an alarm for every couple hours to check on our stove. Because when we woke up this morning, I don't know, it's like 12 degrees in here. So if you're coming to Raven's Rock in the winter, layers, you need layers, folks. Every pair of clothes you have, just throw them on, throw them on. Uh, if I wasn't using my phone right now, I'd be wearing my gloves. So uh, what we've done is we can't go out there to use that grill or that little uh, camp chef. We so can. we, we can. can. We're just we're just not. So we brought in our overlanding table and our blackstone, and we are cooking in here in the in the warmth of our cabin, right? Yeah, the warmth of our cabin. But um, this place really is epic. Uh, I hope that anybody in the North Carolina area gets a and chance, beyond. and beyond, gets a chance to uh, come up here. Uh, this place would be awesome. super amazing when it's warm. Super, super <laughs> I mean, amazing. It's amazing now, but you know when it's a little warmer, it'd be amazing. Yeah. So or at least keep your fire going as long as you're like not cold blooded. So day one lessons learned would be what, babe? Keep your damn fire burning, guys. Mm -hmm. All right. So, we'll see you later. Unless we get hypothermia and die. Could happen. So, it's been about uh, three hours of uh, messing with the fire. And we finally got it uh, nice and toasty. producing. So, breathe out, babe. A little bit. Not much. A little bit of breath. So, that means we're probably in the 40s. I think it's like 45 degrees before you... Start Let's seeing condensation. The weather said that it was going to be windy in Fletcher today. They were not joking. They were not. 
So as you can see, Kim is putting on her fourth layer of pants. <laughs> Um, like 16th layer <laughs> of pants. Uh, so we're going to go explore the property because we've heard from the property owner that they also have another little uh, Airbnb to check out. So we're going to we're going to walk up and and check it out. All right, guys. First off, I'm out of breath, but wait until you see this other property that is available on Airbnb. Is that not crazy? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not super excited about those stairs in any way, shape, or form. However, here we go. We're gonna do it. I don't know if those are weighted for 300 pounds, babe. I don't, I don't know. All right, guys, you know how I am with heights. Ah, oh, fuck. Here we go. Well, let's climb up there. All right, hey, you wanna do this here? Cause I'm gonna hold on. Now we have to stop in the scene, but we actually see it upstairs. Yeah. How you doing, babe? I hate it so much. You got both hands on all the things. I do. Definitely much less wind once we get here. And here we go. Just so you know it shakes. What? Nothing. Oh god. <laughs> Also have a big open door there, fireplace, and then a new little bed in the kitchen area. So yeah, it's set up very similar to ours. Got the tree coming out. But it's a freaking tree house. Oh, it shakes. Oh yeah, oh, yeah it's shaking. <laughs> it is 100% shaking. Like the wind last night was on a, a whole different level. Um, I've never had wind like that. So, uh, oh, oh, it's Kim getting scared now. Now it's motion sickness girl getting scared. Oh, shit. It is really. So, okay. I'm good. This is an amazing property, guys. 
It's an amazing property for someone else. So um, this is an amazing property. For, uh, there's a little trap door, and so you don't have to carry your stuff up all those stairs. That is, <laughs> that is something. On this uh, on this episode, I'm I'm good and done. Uh, this is a, an amazing view. All right. Construction, dude. It's crazy. I can't even it's imagine just, building something like yeah. this. I really can't. They've done an amazing job. So, again, guys, epic. Epic place to stay There's for someone else. <laughs> for someone else. It's a little too epic for me. But uh, you should definitely check out the Airbnb links in the description below. So check that out. There's a seating area and a fire pit. You've got a seating area under the rock. And this is Raven Rock. Well, I knew from the picture, and that's why when I asked you, I was a little shocked. So, yeah sit by the fire if you don't blow away and uh, enjoy right, so we are finished with our little hiking excursion and I'm telling you man walking in the frigid makes my fat self even more tired so we got our fire on point my toes are not numb anymore our fire pretty proud of that it's on point now so now we are doing um, gourmet ham and cheese on sourdough on the Blackstone. So we've got gourmet cheese and ham and fresh sourdough and cow butter. Yuppie people butter. We've got yuppie people butter. So we made it through our first hypothermia day. So we've got the fire blazing. We've got our little candle going and we're getting ready to start supper. So let me get up and I'll show them a little bit of what supper is. Have these little street taco, sweet Hawaiian. Um, little tortillas. tortillas. Yeah, they're so thicker. thicker. Is that, does that say turkey for home? One says turkey and one says red. Oh, I was, guys, I was getting ready to lose my shit. I'm not eating those communist pepperonis. did not disappoint and Kim turned into quite the little wood stove whisperer last night and kept our fire going 
I know that Raven's Rock isn't technically overlanding, but come on guys, the bathroom was outside, so I think it should count by default. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this episode. We had an amazing time, and it just goes to show you that you don't have to go to these exotic places across the world. This was right in our backyard, and it was $100 a night. So just go wherever you can. Just get out of your house, get off your couch. Until next time, guys, remember, hit the bell, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and keep enjoying these adventures with us.